Grigory Perelman may not be such a familiar name, but in 2006 it became very popular internationally. Perelman is a Russian mathematician who is simply in love with his subject. He began to show it at the age of 10, when he was able to solve complex equations at the graduate level. Perelman was born and raised in St. Petersburg and was of neither wealthy nor very intellectual background, since both of his parents were factory workers. From the age of 10, Perelman attended an after-school math club. His math teacher, Sergei Rukshin, was a 19-year-old wonderkind who was his idol at the time. Rukshin managed to inspire Perelman to use his mathematical abilities to achieve the impossible. Perelman was not just very good at math, he was an absolute genius who could solve complex mathematical problems in his head without writing down any calculations. Passion becomes a way of life he eventually earned a doctorate in mathematics. He was so obsessed with his passion for mathematics that he began to live his passion. He calculated everything he did, even calculating the value of his friendships and other social behavior. Everything in his life had to be organized logically. In 1994 Perelman went to the United States to discuss mathematics with other brilliant mathematicians. While he was there, he managed to solve the Sol theorem, a very difficult mathematical problem from 1972, created by Grommel and Chicher, which no one had been able to solve for decades. Perelman solved the problem by doing only four pages of calculations, while other mathematicians in previous years had written an entire book on calculus trying to solve the problem. This brought him great fame in the United States. He was even offered a job as a lecturer at Stanford University and Princeton University, which he declined. In 1995 he returned to Russia and stopped all communication with the international mathematical community. They wanted fame and admiration for his work, which Perelman did not want because he found it distracting and irrelevant. Solution 1 of 7 Millennium Problems The Millennium Problems are considered to be the most difficult mathematical problems to date. Perelman wanted to solve Poincaré's hypothesis, a topology problem first presented by the French mathematician Henry Poincaré in 1904. The problem is so complex that no mathematician has been able to solve it in more than a century. From 1995 to 2002, Perelman devoted most of his time to solving the problem. In his view, everything had a logic, as did every problem, but he understood that complexity had a price, for which most were not willing to pay the time and commitment to the end. In November 2002, Perelman published a paper in which he solved the problem, but the paper was never verified by anyone else in the field, which was necessary for any academic paper to be considered valid, especially in this area of mathematics. He did not ask anyone to validate his work because he was trying to avoid publicity, as he stated in one of his letters sent to Cambridge in response to why his paper was not validated. In 2006, Perelman received the Fields Medal, the most prestigious award a mathematician could win. It is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize, but in mathematics, and Perelman is the first and only person to refuse it. The rejection of the $1 million what Perelman didn't know and didn't really care about was that the solution to Poincaré's hypothesis came with a $1 million prize offered by the Clay Institute of Mathematics in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In 2010, when he was offered the prize, he turned it down again, making him quite famous around the world for turning down that amount of money. In an interview with a Russian TV show, he gave this answer, when asked why he turned down the prize, I'm not interested in money or fame. Such things don't matter to me in life, because if my decision is right, there is no better award. I don't want to be exposed as an animal in a zoo, I want to be seen as a scientist studying this field for the benefit of others. It seems that for Perelman, the meaning of life is to do what he loves while helping others. He is still the only scientist who refuses prizes for his work. Money never meant anything to Perelman, because with or without a million dollars he would have lived his life the same way. His simple lifestyle is still difficult to understand, because we care too much about material things and forget to enjoy life in the process. In Masha Jessen's Perfect Trigger, the author describes how Perelman used his mathematical knowledge to try to determine the meaning of life, which led him to discover that the meaning of life is to help those around you by doing what you do best and love to do. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.